So it's like five o'clock and we made mistakes. mostly in the south. I have been here too long. I said it's mostly in the south. <laughs> I did a th. It's mostly in the south, um, but it's actually trickled up all the way up to the Camino Norte, especially where we are. The heat wave. The heat wave. It's supposed to be... 34 today. It's supposed to be 37, something like that, like 90, 90 something degrees tomorrow. It's supposed to be 102. What? So we are keeping it slow today. We're only doing like eight kilometers heading to a little monastery where they make their own beer. spent a relaxing day drinking the homemade beer and cheese, but it felt like a little oasis in the heat. Laura and I attended the pilgrim's mass, and then the monk set out a simple meal for everyone to enjoy. We're having an early morning hike. We woke up at six, left the monastery at like 6.15. Finally getting that early Camino, the birds and the light. It's supposed to be 102 today. So we're trying to cover as much as we can before nine. And we'll see where we end up. Maybe Guernica. What you doing there? Apricot. <laughs> Apricot. <laughs> Apricot. <laughs> Apricot. <laughs> 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 
yogurt. We're walking through Guernica and we found this. The first 18 kilometers into Guernica went by so smoothly and so quickly without any heat that we were lulled into a false sense of security. Despite the fact the guidebooks warn that there's no services for 15 kilometers after Guernica, we pushed onwards. We had a reservation at a private albergue partway between Guernica and the next town. Loaded down with supplies, the heat wave hit us around 2 p.m. and we were in a lot of trouble. So it's like five o'clock and we made mistakes. We made mistakes. I like our decision. 4.41. No, we're paying for it. We were walking through the heat of the day uphill. And we woke up at six to avoid this. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's been sweaty, but we're, we're almost at the end of the day. It, it's gonna be a great albergue. We're hiding. We're actually hiding in a tunnel right now, absorbing the cool from the walls. Spoiler alert, we survived, lived to see another day, and enjoyed a nice cold beer at the hammock. So today was hands down one of the best days on the whole Camino. We're in a albergue and we have the entire place to ourselves. Literally no one else is here but the four of us. We cooked awesome dinner. We walked 28K. It was wicked hot. We were sweating. We went through some stuff together. Now we're in this awesome albergue. There's a dog outside, Lolita. There's, you know, a super chill owner. But a super good day. Like seven in the morning. We've been hiking for a bit. Haven't run into anybody. Beautiful forest. Pink light. Should be in Bilbao around noon. It's absolutely perfect out here. Sometimes you're just walking on the side of the road and it's not that much fun. So we're walking over into Bilbao. We're like 1K away. It's a huge city. I forgot how friggin' big this is. There's a nice little walkway that gets you over the freeway. Hopefully go see some stuff today. Got lots of time left. It's like noon. Woo! to Bilbao, walking to Old Town, it's pretty sweet. Lots of stairs, but a very pretty neighborhood.
we're coming home from a long day of hot exploring. He's got Nutella ice cream. It's been a pretty darn good day. Bill Bell was nice. Oh yeah. Bill Bell is worth worth a visit for sure. This is a view from our hostel. Hostel. Oh, sick. 